Hi guys. It's been uh, quite a while since I've checked in or posted any chats or stuff like that. But uh, I thought I should now because I can officially announce, which I can't believe, that my book is available for pre-sale on Amazon Prime. And I will post the link um, in the notes to this video. So, I mean, all the people that are my best friends already know this, and they've already pre-ordered, but I thought I'd uh, give a little heads up on the book. Now, this is not a tell-all. I'm not going to go into my personal story too much. Um, I'm going to save that for the mini-series. <laughs> I'm not kidding, actually. I am actually might have a mini-series based on <clears throat> the real private life. Uh, however... Uh, anybody that's been following my posts know that uh, I have no life. <laughs> my life has basically been uh, dance, ballet, uh, and the primary figure, the mover, my father figure, uh, was of course George Balanchine, and, and I am so grateful and blessed and, uh, you know, I can't say enough about um, how fortunate, lucky, and grateful, again, that word I am that I came along at that time when he was very active before any major illnesses. Um, he brought me to New York uh, to choreograph, not to dance. Luckily, he ended up liking my dancing, so I got to do a lot. Um, it's all in my book, so I'm not going to go into it. And anybody that's been following me knows a lot of this. But I just wanted to say um, I'm officially a published author. Wow, uh, who would have thunk it? <laughs> and it's also not a as told to or co-written with. It's all, for better or for worse, my words. Um, of course, we I've had an editor and I've had very good friends um, that have helped me with certain things, fact-checking, etc. Um, grammatical errors. Uh, but that's kind of normal. But the book is entirely my words and my story, and 80% uh, of it is all about the New York City Ballet and my generation, my years, George Balanchine, how I knew him personally. I think it's important. People, you know, I get irritated by all the myths out there and all this nonsense, BS, and people either claiming that they knew him so well when I know for a fact because I was there that they didn't, or people that are blaming him for their own personal problems, and I'm very sorry about that, that uh, you know who they are, had some personal issues, but they blame him because he was, of course, the father figure. And it's always easy to blame daddy. However, I didn't know and I didn't see that part of him. I saw not a rose-colored glasses kind of thing at all, but I saw what I saw of him. So I wanted to get that out there in print, on the record, kind of to counteract some of the um, nonsense I've seen and read over 30 years. Um, that's about it, I guess. I'm gonna put at the end of this, I'm gonna put me and Gelsey Kirkland, uh, a silent um, home video of us uh, dancing rubies. And this was uh, probably her last and my last year in the company. Uh, we had so much uh, given to us, and I, uh, unfortunately, left the company before um, some really big things were coming to me. I mean, he had uh, originally was starting Coppelia on me and Gelsey, and we started rehearsing, and he choreographed the solo on me and the pas de and with Alexandra Nileva, who was a great friend of mine, and, um, and with Gelsey. And the other thing we had started working on was uh, the Steadfast Tin Soldier, Again, me and Gelsey, and he'd already started choreographing it. But she got the call. Uh, it was too hard for her to resist to go join Barishnikov. He had just defected. And, of course, that was a, a big deal for her. That was very attractive. So she left, and I left to start my Los Angeles ballet. Because at that point, it's not that I thought I learned as much as I could learn from him. But as a choreographer choreographing the company at the same time Balanchine and Robbins were turning out masterpiece after masterpiece after masterpiece. This includes the first Stravinsky Festival and Goldberg Variations and Dances of the Gathering, both where I had uh, leading roles. Um, 
as a choreographer, I just felt redundant. <laughs> I mean, these two guys were geniuses. This was on another planet, and I'm only human. So um, I thought, well, maybe I should strike out on my own and just kind of see if I can. And I did. Uh, and luckily, and very happily, I was able to launch Damien Wetzel, um, who became a major uh, star and now the president of Juilliard and, and other dancers uh, that I go, I talk about in my book. But um, so even though sometimes I wax nostalgic about what would have happened if I stayed in New York, Balanchine wanted me to stay. He brought me back as a guest artist for several years. Um, and he once kind of pushed to have me come back full time, but I couldn't leave my dancers in Los Angeles, so I said no. Uh, so I always wonder, well, what would have happened if I would have said yes and gone back to New York City Ballet? Would they have had, you know, some of the issues and problems they had the last few years? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I can't. Hindsight is twenty twenty, so I can't say. Um... I do think I would have kept the Ballantine repertory and the style a bit more um, as he wanted them. Maybe that's my ego speaking. But I think I have some facts behind me to prove that I can do that. I have done that. But again, that's, that's uh, water to the bridge and uh, we all move on. And I'm working on some really big projects that I hope I can announce pretty soon. They've been taking a long time, but that's Hollywood for you. Okay, that's it for me. I just wanted to say to everybody that my book is now available on uh, Amazon. I'm going to put a link uh, in this YouTube um, posting in the notes. Um, I'm not, I don't care if you buy it, you know, because I don't care if I make the money off it. That's really, I don't, won't make any money. But I just want to set the record straight about um, the New York City Ballet in my period of time and Balanchine and and a lot of the stuff that he stood for and that we all worked our asses off to do because we knew we knew that we were in the presence of something extraordinary and rare and may not come again. And so I would say, except for a few malcontents, so I talk about in my book, so some people aren't going to be so happy, but stuff, um, that uh, the majority of the company realized that we were in the presence of this genius. And he was criticized during those years, too. I mean, other critics and Jerry Robbins, certain things, there was a lot of controversy. But the hardcore balancing dancers, and there are many of us, um, we knew. And what's more, the audiences knew. This is what was very interesting. The audiences felt it. It's hard to define what genius is, and when you know you're you're seeing something a step above. So I just wanted to share that. So I I hope everybody's staying safe. Wear your masks. We'll get through all this pretty soon. I hope everybody's dying to get back on stage, and um, I hope you enjoy my book. I enjoy telling my stories, and they're all true. John out. <laughs>